campaign. It's prob this campaign hasn't started quite how you'd like it to. No, I think it's been a strange start to the season, obviously with internationals interrupting and we've got another one coming up at, um, at the weekend. So I think after that the season will start probably taking shape and the Champions League and then obviously it comes up to Christmas, a lot of games, FA Cup starts. So um, yeah, I mean, hopefully it'll get started soon and um, we get into the rhythm of things and um, where we're at, yeah, I mean, we're relatively happy, you know, unbeaten. Yeah, we've we've probably dropped a, a few silly points, so we're a bit disappointed by that. But you know, we're second, three points behind Chelsea. Um, you know, doing okay in the Champions League. So yeah, I mean, we, we, we've got to be happy. And you've always said, whenever I've asked you about this before, when the start hasn't gone quite to plan, Manchester United are a team who can put together ten or eleven wins. Yeah, I think we are a team that are capable of doing that. I think there are other teams that that can do that as well. But you know, we we have got the experience. We've got obviously the know-how, the manager. And we know, you know, if we get beat or if we, you know, have disappointed results like we have done this season, we know how to bounce back and we know not to, to panic. So, um, like I say, we're relatively happy with the with the start we we've, we've got off to. You know, it could have been better, but um, like you say, we are capable of, of going on a run and, and and doing really well. It's been one of those seasons as well where there have been off the field distractions. Without going into detail, would that impact on the pitch at all? I think, you know, like you say, 20 years in the first team, I've, you know, more or less seen everything, you know, you're at Manchester United, uh, everybody wants to know what, you, what, what you're what doing and, um, you know, if there's a few bad results, it's the end of the world. If there's a few good results, you know, you're world beaters. I think it's just all about just, you know, using the experience really and um, just keeping, you know, level really and not getting too excited or not getting too down. and. Again, you know, that's where the experience of the manager, experience, you know, the likes of me, Gary Neville, Paul Scholes, Edwin, um, you know, it can be really helpful.